Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very delighted and uh, feel privileged to be the new General Rapporteur on this very important topic. Um, me being a person of African descent, living in Europe my entire life, and also working with civil society organizations for the past 25 years, and leading some of the uh, biggest um, anti-racist networks and organizations in Europe, I think the experience that I have, both personally but also during my uh, time as, a, as an activist during all these years, gives me the, um, I would like to think it gives me the possibility to be able to contribute uh, to this level because I used, I have done this for so many years, I have experience in it, uh, and giving me the possibility at this level, at uh, the, the Council of Europe level, to be able to mobilize parliamentarians that are members of the Council of Europe to proactively and openly and firmly act against racism and discrimination for me is, is, the, is the biggest privilege that one can get and I, I take this very seriously and I'm going to make sure that I use this time most effectively that I can. As we all know, I think we all by this time know that the basic principles, the general principles that Europe is based upon, democracy, rule of law and human rights are under threat in Europe today and in most parts of the world. And that is why it is extremely important now than ever to rally around, to mobilize as many people as possible, especially policymakers, to be able to act and not only be naive and think that things are going to just solve themselves. Democracy needs to be safeguarded continuously. And that demands that we actively put in policies, we put in um, um, practices and policies that would safeguard democracy at all levels and at all times, not only for us, but for the coming generations. So for me, one of the priorities would be to make sure that I mobilize as many delegations as possible that are members of this uh, assembly to actively work on combating racism and intolerance and hate. And we've seen hate speech increasing at all levels, especially within um, um, policy makers. We've seen it in media, we've seen it in, um, um, and, uh, on social media, and it's increasing. One of the priorities that I've been working on in exactly hate speech that is perpetuated in all different forums and platforms, we need to make sure that it stops. We need to find ways and means, we need to find policy frameworks, we need to find models that would protect people from this kind of hate that we see today engulfed, engulfed, engulfing Europe and the rest of the world. So those are some of the things that I would like to focus on. And then lastly, being somebody that came from um, civil society, a very important priority for me this year is to make sure that I use that network that I've, during all these years, built up to mobilize them, to partner with them and all other relevant partners to make sure that we have a dialogue in trying to create common solutions to a common problem. I think that's the only way forward. We need to try to build bridges and break down walls. And that's my role as a rapporteur. In everything that I do, in everything that I think we do as policymakers, intersectionality has to be a part of. Because there's no single um, item. There's no, you, you cannot say, me as a black man, I'm only a black man. I'm a black man and I'm a Muslim. And I'm a man. Now, it's important that when we talk about racism, intolerance, and discrimination, and hate, that we realize that it is a series of factors that are combined that affect people, both social and political. And an individual is, is a combination of both social and political identities, and we need to take that into consideration in everything that we do. And that is why, for me, during my time in office, I will make sure that everything that I do would have an intersectional element in it. Thank you very much. Thank you.